This video is sponsored by NVIDIA. Stick around to the end of the video so you can find out how you can win yourself a brand new 4060 GPU courtesy of the good guys over at NVIDIA GeForce. Those two weeks certainly hit, but good lord, Gege is back and he's come back with a juicer, juicer chapter. That's the only way I can describe this chapter. It's every time this dude takes a break, he comes back and he delivers us meaty, juicy goodness. But without further ado, let's just get into it. Let's not waste any time, but make sure you are subscribed and get that massive PP energy buff. This chapter opens up with Gojo and Sukuna continuing to just simply throw hands and Maharaka's wheel spinning for the second time, leaving only now two more spins until Gojo's affinity is completely adapted to by the Maharaga, with everyone watching and screaming for Gojo to hurry, myself included, because this chapter had me stressed out. If you go back and look at the latest stream, you will see that I'm stressed out watching this chapter. I also want to note here that the editor's comments talk about how you cannot stop the count of destiny, which is wild when you think about how a previous 10 shadows and six eyes you just killed each other. So calling this the count of destiny is kind of crazy, but and you'll know why it's even even more wild while if you stick around to the end of the video but gojo shows us something crazy here by in this chapter by activating multiple activations of blue at the same time which a lot of us have been waiting for because gojo mentioned that he could do it way way back in the gojo past arc but gojo launches multiple blues similar to like the truth seeker orbs from naruto but he multi he launches these guys at sukuna destroying everything in their pathway and Sukuna dodges most of it but seemingly gets hit on the side it's kind of hard to tell due to like the panel quality uh, so we'll have to wait until the pages are cleaned by tcb and put out officially um but what do you guys think do you think this guy actually got hit here because it kind of looks like he got a chunk of his side torn out from this but i'm not entirely sure but as this is all happening the wheel of maharaga spins once again leaving us with only one last spin and yuji starts to question if the maharaga can only adapt to an attack in one spin or if it needs to be multiple which kashimo seems to say you know whichever and i, I want to wait until the official translation comes out but my own personal theory on this is that the maharaga adapts based on complexity uh for example with sukuna if it's a simple slash and attack then it's like one spin completely done um but when it's like something like gojo's very complex technique then it would take multiple spins to get the technique down so i wonder how maharaga would adapt with more complex techniques like for example Higuruma's courtroom, would it interact, would it adapt based on the laws, or would it just simply adapt to the domain as a whole? And it's very, very confusing, but you know, it, it's something that I would like to see explained maybe at some point. Gojo catches Sukuna off guard here, tricking him into thinking he's just gonna use blue this entire fight, and he hides behind a pillar and fires a red reversal at Sukuna. But because Sukuna was about to use domain amplification to attack Gojo, the wheel actually turns black and Gojo's red isn't adapted. So it was just a perfect timing of events here. However, this red actually doesn't do a whole deal of damage. And instead, Sukuna was seemingly able to reinforce himself against this. And apparently Sukuna taunts Gojo, telling him he's getting sloppy here. Like, you just used red here. And again, I love the trash talk between these fights and honestly my only complaint within this fight as a whole right now is that there hasn't been enough trash talk like genuinely but it turns out gojo's red was actually a massive brain play by gojo and he sent it flying through the building and out and around in a circle and it hit sukuna in the back causing big damage from what we can see here and in doing this gojo basically sacrifices himself to the last spin of the maharaga wheel here However, it's totally worth it, for my opinion anyway, even though the end result of this chapter is kind of dicey, but it's totally worth it, because if you remember a couple of chapters ago, I said Gojo should have hit a black flash at this point. Well, it turns out Gege was actually watching my videos and was like, you know what? You right, you right, because Gojo lands a massive massive black flash on Sukuna here and we see everyone's reaction being complete and utter shock my personal favorite here was Yuka's reaction the dude just looks like the Pikachu meme just like complete utter shock um like seriously look at this dude's face but Sukuna's eyes go white like I can only assume that this dude is knocked out cold from the little one two wombo combo that's that Gojo just hit here and as Sukuna's barely on his feet the Maharaga wheel falls to the floor and spins one last time from Gojo's red connecting, meaning now it is fully 
adapted to Gojo's technique and his Maharaga is ready to play. Uh, and I've got to keep it a stack. It is, it's not looking good for our boy Gojo right now. It's really not looking good. Um, the Maharaga's hands come out of the shadows and I couldn't help but think how it reminded me a lot of uh, Rika's manifestation. Like the first time you to seize Rika and also just the way she manifests anyway with the hands that come out of the shadows. It reminded me of that. But Gojo sinks into the shadows slightly here. And originally when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, Sukuna's going to try and drown him or something like this. But he sunk into the shadows slightly here. And I, a, a crackpot theory was if Gojo, what I said on stream anyway, uh, if Gojo sunk into the shadows, this could pen potentially lead into the moment of Gojo meeting up with Megami again, like being sucked into that sort of innate domain type thing, uh, meeting up with Megami again and actually telling Megami about his dad, which was obviously crackpot theory because that's not even remotely close to what happens in this chapter. But I'm going to say, I am fully at peace with Gojo going out. Like, at first, I wasn't, but now I have made my peace with it. And I've got to say, it doesn't look good for our man Gojo right now because this Maharaga being fully adapted to Gojo's technique is a very, very bad omen. The Maharaga slashes Gojo up his chest and we see everyone screaming for their sensei. And obviously, that's the sword of extermination right there that has just slashed gojo and now personally i'm of the mindset that i feel like that being that specific sword is going to be somewhat of a hindrance to gojo healing that might be a wound that he may not be able to heal or it may be even a thing that he might not even be able to use rct right now i'm not sure but i feel like this sword slashing gojo might be a problem but that is everything from me this chapter was a banger it was an absolute banger it's so nice to have gege back those two weeks felt daunting but real quick i just wanted to say thank you to nvidia for sponsoring this video and helping me get back to the community to celebrate 15,000 subscribers like truly it is a massive massive giveaway it's a super cool thing that these guys have done reaching out with me to partner with them so again once again, massive shout out to NVIDIA, but they are allowing me to hook you guys up with some goodies. And all you need to do to be entered into the giveaway is simply be subscribed to this channel and just comment on the video. That's it. That's all you need to do. And once you do that, you will be in with a chance of winning yourself a brand new 4060 graphics card, which is just juicy. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And the winners will be announced within the coming days. Uh, and, and once again, a massive, massive thank you to the community. I mean, without you guys, I don't get to do what I do. So again, thanks so much. And again, massive, massive shout out to NVIDIA for sponsoring myself, a partner on me to work with you guys and give something cool back to you. Truly, truly awesome. Thank you. But that is everything from me. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, let me know what you thought in the chapter down below. Be sure to enter the giveaway. And as always, I will catch you guys all in the next one. Much love. Big kisses. Peace.